Tropical cyclone Kiralee has formed off the coast of central Queensland. The Bureau warns the Category 1 system could intensify further before making landfall. Live to Alison Osborne. She's in Airlie Beach for us this morning. Bit of a different picture today, Alison. Where is the system now and what's it like there this morning? Well, gales from Tropical Cyclone Kiralee, they're already howling across the Whitsunday Islands and coast this morning, Pete, likely to extend as far north as air and as far south as Serena during this morning. So every time a shower comes on in this morning here at Early Beach, it is rolling in sideways, dropping the visibility of fairly unpleasant conditions. That said, Tropical Cyclone Kiralee remains a Category 1 storm this morning. It's churning away some 440 kilometres uh, to the northeast of Townsville. We'll get the uh, forecast map up now and you can see this system is expected to slowly and steadily intensify on its track towards that coastline. Now landfall is expected tonight somewhere between Ingham and Bowen with Townsville facing the very real threat of a direct hit from a Category 2 tropical cyclone. Now that does mean that destructive winds so over 140 kilometres per hour. They are likely to develop north of Bowen and then towards air over the next few hours. Those wind gusts, so the most dangerous winds, they're likely to spread as far south as Proserpine should the system adopt a more southerly track. So we remain on a tropical cyclone warning uh, from Innisfail, sorry, from Ingham rather, through to Serena and then inland to Charters Towers. The next threat after the winds, Pete, heavy rainfall, the threat of some life-threatening flash flooding and river rises. So we're definitely seeing a few sandbags uh, around properties here, uh, particularly those that face the beach, facing the threat mm. of a storm tide. So really starting to feel the impacts of Kiralee here now on the Sundays. Townsville facing that direct hit tonight. All right, Alison Osborne, thank you.